everyone. Thanks for joining us. We're going to be talking about setting up your account for filing the WASPA today. This application is the Washington Application for State Financial Aid, it's the WASPA, and this is for students who are not eligible for federal financial aid because of immigration status. So this includes undocumented students, students without a social security number. It's going to open up the opportunity for you to get the access to the Washington College Grant as well as the College Bound Scholarship if you applied in middle school. To get started, you'll want to go to the website. It'll be readysetgrad.gov forward slash WASPA and it will take you to this website that you see open here. And when you start, you'll go ahead and scroll down. You're going to click on start a new WASPA. So you'll go ahead and click start here. And then it's going to ask you a series of questions. This is helping you to figure out if you should be doing the FAFSA or the WASPA. So it's asking if you are a U.S. citizen or one of the following. So if you say yes, it will forward you to back to the FAFSA. So if you say no to these, then you'll get to move on. And then we'll ask you if you have a social security number, tax ID, work authorization, or have a current or expired DACA number. Um, so you can say yes or no. It doesn't, it's not going to hinder you here. So we're going to say no for the purpose of this video. And then you have to meet these following requirements as well in order to be eligible for the WASPA. So graduating from a Washington high school with a diploma or GED, in, you have to graduate in your senior year. You have to also have lived in Washington for at least three consecutive years immediately before you graduate high school. If you're shy of these 36 consecutive months, you'll want to reach out to your school counselor or your college and career access specialist to find out what your options are. And then you have to commit to continuously staying in Washington State after you earn your, your high school diploma, GED, or equivalent. So if you can say yes to those, and then they that you qualify to complete the WASPA. So you're gonna click here to apply. And then it'll redirect you to this new website and you're gonna create your account. And they're gonna ask you again, are you eligible to complete the FAFSA? And we're going to say no. And this privacy notice, this is just a explanation that any information you put in here can only be used for the purpose of tuition and financial aid, and it can't be shared with anyone outside of the educational institution that you share it with. So we'll go ahead and start with your email address. You're going to create your password, and then you're going to do some um, secret questions, and then you're going to go ahead and put in your first and your last name, your birthday, social security, DACA, or I-10. This is all optional. This is not required for the WASPA. So if you don't have it, you just leave a blank and that's okay. But if you do have any of those things, put it in there two times. If you've done a WASPA already once before and you're just um, doing it again, in a, for the new year, you, you will have a signed WASPA ID. If this is your first year, then you're not going to have one of those. You're going to type in the security code you see, whatever that is you see when you do it. And then you're going to register. Check out the next series of videos. We'll take you step by step all the way through the WASPA.